Hi guys, we both away. I'm Martin. And I'm Magda, and this is our baby Natalia. Today we are at Valley of Rocks in North Devon, where we're going to be walking to Linton and Linmouth. We're going to check out a place that was completely flooded by the river in 1952, and we're also going to take a hydro powered cliff railway. The highest and steepest in the world. Stay with us. Valley of Rocks, which is like rock and roll. We're in North Devon, uh, it's a beautiful place where you can actually walk from where we are at the moment to Linmouth, which is a tiny village. We're gonna have lunch there and walk back. So, as Magda mentioned, uh, the Valley of Rocks, it's north of Devon and it's a really nice walk. To be honest, we've been here a couple of times. We climb up that hill for a picnic, but this time we're going to Linmouth, where is the lift take you down to the beach. So how long you can connect one phone to one stick? <laughs> uh, just half an hour job. <laughs> Need to ring IT. <laughs> <laughs> So you walk on the grass in between the stones, few meters from the car park, which is just behind the hill, you can start walking on the footpath, which is very flat and accessible even for pushchairs. So we've been here a couple of times already, and every single time the wind was so strong that we couldn't walk the whole way down to Linmouth. Today there is no wind actually, so hopefully I can fly with the drone if we stop somewhere and we can take the lift down to the Linmouth. There's like a twin town, Linmouth and Linton. Linton is up the hill, Linmouth is um, next to the beach. I look at the view behind me, the view is spectacular. You can climb up that hill through the stones there, which hopefully we can do that when we come back. You can see the coast of Wales a little bit. As you can see there, where the, another hill is, there is a bay and at that bay there is a Linmouth town and Linton so hopefully we can get there as you can see weather is amazing and the footpath is really flat so everyone can walk there when we were here last time our friends if I remember that correctly they got the pushchair with them they still managed to get through it's amazing view we will climb up there on the way back but first we need some fish and chips to get some energy yeah, I know, I know. I killed my keto in the last episode. So I'll, hopefully I'll get back on keto for next week. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. No, fingers. Fingers crossed, guys. So as I mentioned, that using gravity, and this one, uh, it's up there. I don't know why it's so much water there, but it looks like this one needs to be filled in water now and the one down there is drained so when this one gets heavier it will obviously go down and the other one will go up now we're going to cliff railway which is supposed to take us down down the hill to Linmouth and we should get some lunch there like uh, fish and chips hopefully so if your wife forgot the <laughs> GoPro camera there is only one solution for that here. Forever.
we've done the whole trip. My scare of height doesn't kick in too much. It takes about four or five minutes to get from up the hill down here. It's a really cool experience. It costs three pounds per person each way, so it's not too bad. Please do. Um, on the side of the cars, not actually very clear, there's a little governor. That, okay. um, Two, two centrifugal balls that spin out with speed. Right. And as they spin out, they lift the plate up and that actually puts the brakes on. Right. So okay. we're limited to, it's about 10.1 miles an hour. Okay. So that it automatically holds us at that, at that speed. Uh, we've also got two pedals down by the side of the wheel there. Right. One's the foot brake and one's the water release lever. Right. So we drop the water with one. We've got a foot brake which we use to slow down as oh, we're just initially coming into yeah. the station. And then the big wheel is a grip brake which works on the side of the rails that we actually stop on. Alright. So, yeah. That's cool. Really yeah. clever, isn't it? Yes it is. It's amazing. Alright, thanks very much. I think Thank it's you. amazing. So we just talked to the guys from uh, Cliff Railway and they told us how this works. So it's obviously water tanks in each of the carriers. Um, there is a 700 gallons water tank, which is about three and a half ton. But the funny thing is, they're not filling up the tanks every single time. So what they're doing, down there, one of those guys, they got like a, he said there's a foot pedal, which regulate the amount of water which go into the top carrier. So it depends on how many people is on the top carrier and how many people is on the down one. He released the amount of water which is required to just slightly move the carriers. And, and that's it, the rest is happened by gravity. It's a really clever solution. It's 136 years old and they haven't changed the mechanism at all. The only things they upgrade, it's uh, safety locks, which obviously are the safety locks, so they has to be that. But a part of that, everything is exactly the same. Amazing, isn't it? So in case you lost, same as my wife, up there, there was Linton. Down here where we are at the moment, it's Linmouth. Linmouth got a small river. Up there you can see a few hotels, and up the hill, there is a lovely camping site, which I can't remember the name, but we've been there a long time ago. Do you remember this place? Yes. Because you're walking like no, a mad I... <laughs> woman and you don't know where <laughs> like you are. Like a baby in the fog. Exactly. I remember this place and I can tell you, unless Martin told you already, that we were here in a lockdown and I had my first takeaway coffee in the lockdown. Uh, and the coffee wasn't great, but because it was my first proper coffee, not made in house, but actually from a coffee shop, it was an amazing experience. I just saw the small street, which every single time when we were here was closed, and doesn't look good at all. But this time, look at it, amazing, really colorful. Did you see that shark? Look at this shark. So we're back to the village. We're supposed to get some fish and chips, but because baby needs to eat, we need some seat inside. And obviously all those places they are full at the moment because it's like a lunch time almost and it's Saturday and it's nice weather and obviously it's end of lockdown. Baby 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 Natalka a piece and chips piece and chips Magda what kind of disappointment we have this time? Well do you know when you you read the menu you choose something that you really like go and order it and nothing else is just, you know, this is what you want to eat. Nothing else is going to do. So I've ordered um, soup of the day, which was tomato and red roasted peppers, which I really like that kind of soup. And I was presented with a soup that was yellow in color. And I'm like, that's not tomato and red roasted peppers. I've tried it and it was just, I couldn't really, really tell what flavor it was. So anyway, I gave it back. I said, I'm, I'm, well, this is not the soup of the day that was advertised on the bar. I said, can I have something really quickly now, because everybody else is eating, so can I have a sandwich? And I got a sandwich, which was cheese and chutney, which wasn't great at all. And um, I'm really hungry now. But um, so that was my experience of eating in Lin Linmouth. Are we in Linmouth? I got, I got burger. And that yeah, was fine. Yeah, they all had really lovely food and steak and ale pie and burgers. And I had old fries and really strange soup. The famous flood in 1952. It's crazy, look. <gasps> we called this the English Switzerland. Oh. And it was quite a long time to come here. Five days with a horse from London. 
Oh, okay. and so you felt like you were gone somewhere. Oh, <laughs> and the year I was born here, in 1963, so I shouldn't have said that, yeah. the river was frozen and we couldn't get out of the valley for 11 weeks. No, oh. 11 weeks? 11 weeks, stuck, because of the hills and it's yeah, cold yeah, yeah. and you don't expect it. And the sea was the only way in and out. Mm. So it's a, quite a powerful place. This, this little valley was opened in 1854 and there were no trees. Because of a time called the Little Ice Age, that finished about 1850, nothing had grown, it was just broken stone mm. with ferns. And you can still see evidence of this. Flood from, from where? From where? the river. From there. Ah. So 2,000 times today's water. And in the middle of the night, in the middle of the summer, it carried 40,000 tonnes of rock and filled up the bridges and changed course. Oh, okay. wow. But up there, the rocks that are too big, very beautiful. Big boulders that move from one hour every 200 years. Okay. It's a site of special scientific interest. So ah. there was a bigger one in 1770 and many before. And all the rocks on the beach are a flood delta mm. from this river. So that's a powerful story. But it's just pretty. And in the building we have five meter high whale bones and steam engines. Mm. You can play with the water and you can see the machines that make enough electric for 300 houses. Shall we go? Yeah, we so we very, make them. Very Yes, Half an hour, you especially with the rocks on the beach, yeah. you said, because yeah. I've, I've never seen a beach like this before. Yeah, yeah. So when we crossed the gate, the guy told us go to the building first, and there is a uh, bones of the whales. So I'll be honest with you, at the moment it looks more like we support local community rather than proper uh, tourist attraction. So guys, if you want to support local community, then go ahead, yes. But if you are searching for tourist attractions, Seven pounds per person, not really worth it. Well, not really worth it. No, it's a very strange place. The museum, uh, the first, uh, <laughs> the first uh, room you go into, it looks like somebody's brain just exploded with information. <laughs> but um, as you say, it's supporting local yeah. communities. Maybe if the waterfall is open, but it look, it doesn't look like it will be open anytime oh. soon. It's more about supporting local community. Definitely. Uh, two hours later. You okay? <laughs> I cannot stop. <laughs> so we actually used the tamarack road to go to the waterfall, and we're here. So that's how it looks like. She should be back in a couple of hours. If you ever come here to Linton or in Linmouth and you're wondering where you should go for eat and for a walk, Linmouth is your place. Linton is the place up the hill which is kind of okay but it's like Nothing, nothing really special. Didn't move down here. It's much nicer, especially if it's weather like this and you can see the coast. We vote. We're not gonna climb up the hill again. We're gonna use the cliff air whale again. Let's say because we're supporting local community, not because we're lazy and we don't want to climb up the hill.
can see from above the Valley of Rocks is a really nice place. It isn't huge, but it's definitely worth to visit. And look at this view, how amazing is that? It looks like the small hobbits from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so Magda, any thoughts about today's trip? Yes, I loved it. Okay. I can recommend it, guys, if you want a, a really nice day out in North Devon, then come here. If you want a bit random museum about floods in Linton and Linmouth, <laughs> also you can do that. So while we're back to the car park, I'm gonna give you the tip of the day. I pay for the parking for four hours and my friend Petru paid for five hours. No, he paid for more than four hours because you're paying for, by every hour up to four hours and then you're paying for over five hours which is 60p more. He's done it and I'm not. And in the middle of our day I have to extend it for one hour and I pay another three pounds for it and he was fine. So pay for more than five hours. That's the tip of the day. So this is it guys. Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed this trip as uh, much as we did. As always, leave the comment below, smash the like button, there is notification bell somewhere below, uh, click it so you will be notified about our new videos, which are every Sunday. Bye, Natalka. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye.